Hello everybody, okay, this is going to be part four of my New Moon movie experience. I tried to do it last night, but uh, I couldn't, because I did do it, and then it didn't upload or pro publish or anything. And I'm really cool, that's why I'm in my, I'm like, in my big ass class of 2011 jacket. It is huge, it's a large, and it looks like an extra large. It is huge on me. It's huge on me, I'm not <laughs> And my hair is like really ugh right now, so that's why it's up. Anyway, besides my experience, let's get to the part four of New Moon. Okay, the cliff dive is my favorite part because it's like the turning point. It leads into Italy and Alice returning, and of course, Edward, and of course, Robert Pattinson comes back. Thank God. Thank God his hotness comes back. Not that we haven't seen it throughout the film of the hallucinations, but I digress. Anyway, what is I do? I don't even know what digress means when I said it. I've just been hearing it a lot. Never mind, forget it. Anyway, so the clip dive is really a good part. I really like the dialogue said. Everyone in my theater, like like a hush, went in the audience when this happened. Um, a lot of people were like, oh, like the team Edward people were like, you know, they were like, oh, you know. I love the lines that were said, you know, like, I love the, uh, where, uh, Rob says, don't, Bella, don't do this, or whatever, and then Kristen smiles, she's like, you know, it's like, she heard him again, you know, it's just exactly like Bella's reaction, um, then she says, um, you wanted me to be human, well, watch me, and then he says, you don't have to do this, and then she says, you won't be with me any other way, and then she jumps. I really wish that, you know, the last, the, in the book, it says, um, she says her last thought was, goodbye, I love you. I wish it said that in the, in the movie, in that part, but they didn't. It, it, they, she says that in the meadow, which I think was kind of, was okay, I guess, but I wish it would have been said in the clip job, because it's more, because I would have liked it better, but hey, whatever. Uh, but I really like the clip dive. A lot of people were giggling. During the part where Rob and Kristen were like laying like this, a lot of people were laughing and giggling, and I was also giggling. I'm like, a lot. Someone actually yelled like, "Oh my God, they look like corpses!" And the, and me in my head, I'm like, "Yeah, they." I like looked at the screen and I thought about it. I'm like, "Yeah, they kind of do." Like the part where they're like, where they're like laying like flat like this, they look like corpses. When they're laying flat, you know, they look like corpses. I'm sorry, but they do. But the one that when they're laying like long ways they look okay i love that part that part is good i thought it was good the part where they're like laying like this it looks like there are a couple of floating corpses so yeah that's my only thing about that anyway and i really like the part where jacob like grabs bella's arm and she waves it away and everything and then um then it then he saves her and he's like what the hell were you doing and this is duh and i really like in the car then it's a it's not a werewolf thing, it's a Jacob thing. Oh my god, my brother has been saying that non-stop still. He still says it's a Jacob thing, because his name is Jacob, so he can use it, and man, when I first saw that without my brother, it was okay. I'm like, oh, that's funny, but now that my brother says it on a daily basis, it has entered into his normal vocabulary daily now. I hate that line. It's like my the my least favorite line in the entire movie. That's my least favorite line. So now every so now when I watch the movie, I, whenever I hear hear that line, I'm like, oh god, I hate it. Anyway, so they almost kiss in the car. My friend who's Team Jacob, I've been saying that a lot in these vids. Uh, she like she's like, <gasps> but nope, didn't kiss, and I'm like, yes, thank god. Um, and then she see, and then of course Taylor's like. Stop! I smell a vampire! And she, and Kristen turns around and she's like, it's Carla's car. And then she's like, they're back! And then she goes into the house. J Jacob tries to stop her and she's like, no, I have to go see them. They'll protect me and la. And then she goes in and then it's like dark in her house. And then you turn on the light and bam, there's Alice. And you're like, whoa, everyone kind of, some people actually scream during that, that part because they were so surprised. Like, oh my god. And all of a sudden, like, Alice is where, like, she just appeared out of midair. It was so funny. Um, hearing the people scream, they're like, <gasps> or gasps of like, oh my god. I love that part. I wish there was some more dialogue during that part, because there was a lot in the book uh, with Alice and Bella. I really wish there was more, but what they have is just good for just what they have, what they had time for. I really like Bella, uh, Alice's line, I've never met anyone so prone to life-threatening idiocy. What's that? 
that god awful wet dog smell? Bella, werewolves aren't good company to keep. I love those three lines. Those are like my favorite Alice lines. Next to the one in, in Italy. Let's get to Italy first before I lose time here. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. Let's talk about the kitchen. Oh, my God. When Bella and Jacob almost kiss, everyone, like the Team Jacob people, including my friend, my friend who's sitting right here next to me, she's like, yes, 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 yes. As they're getting closer and closer, she's like, yes, yes, yes. And me, I'm like cringing. I'm like, no, 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 no. And then the phone rings. And I'm like, yes. Because we all know what that phone ring, or that phone is, who's on the other end of that phone. I'm like, yes, yes, thank God. Edward forever, people. Edward forever, thank God, thank God. Anyway, but then I get, and then, of course, the Jacob answers the phone. I really hate that part. It's like, no, he's planning a funeral, and then he hangs up, and then you, the, phone crushing it still gets me to this day I god sometimes I lie awake and think about it and I get sad and I got I start crying and I know I'm like emotional right now this movie made me emotional now anyway so I love okay then it skips ahead let's skip to Italy I love the Porsche okay when Bella's running through Italy everyone's like cheering for her they're like go Bella run go to Edward some people are like shut up and so and then the other people are like I don't care go Bella go and it's like so funny and some people were literally like go Bella go like running in slow motion with her or something and then of course when Rob reveals himself no one screams there's actually silence like no one wanted to scream I'm pretty sure that there were Rob fans in my theater but they just didn't want to scream I think the reason we scream, we all, the only reason we scream is because other Twilighters start screaming. So the fact that nobody screamed when Rob took off his shirt, we didn't, I would have screamed if someone else had screamed before me. That's what, that's my opinion on everything. So anyway, everyone was like, everyone, I love Volturi, Volterra, I loved Italy, I loved the Volturi, I loved who they picked for the cast. Oh my god, I cringed so much when Rob Edward was being beaten to bits. I cringed so much during that scene when he was getting beaten up. I was I cringed. Like when he was flipped onto the um to the stairs. I'm like, no, no. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like me and my friend who's team I were like, no, that's not supposed to happen. We were so like we were cringing so much. It was like, no, he's not supposed to be beaten up. What the hell, man? You know, girl. I love that Bella actually spoke in this part because in the book she barely says a word. I don't even think she even says anything. So I'm glad that Bella actually had some dialogue and she said everything. I love the the little scene with Breaking Dawn running through the woods and Bella's a vampire. I love that part. The second time I saw it in the theaters, the second time I saw the movie, I laughed my butt off because it was kind of funny. I love, okay, let's skip ahead to the bedroom scene. Edward apologizes more. That kiss, oh my god. Oh, the kiss in Italy, everyone was ooing and aahing and clapping. And people were like, they weren't whistling, but people were like, oh cute and whatever anyway bedroom scene awesome i love that but the bedroom scene i wish there was more dialogue in it i wish edward had said some more things i wish bella had said some more things so she really doesn't say anything in that scene and i love that i love that part so much in the book and grr anyway so the mortality belt really funny i love jack uh, jackson's line so 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 funny um i love the majority vote i wish edward would have gone more angry but then again, that's another video talking about the scenes I wish were in the film and that weren't, so that's a different video. Uh, skip ahead to the ending. The ending, oh my god. Uh, Willie, like, um, Bella's line about Jacob, I love you, but it's Edward, it'll always be him. I wish it, ugh. I didn't really like that she said that, but hey, what can you do? Um, everyone was screaming so much, and some people were actually really angry about the ending of the movie. I personally think it's awesome, even though I, I mean, I was mad. I'm like, no, we're supposed to have an answer, because there's such a long pause, and then she just gasped, but it was so annoying. But no, all in all, it was a good, it was a good movie experience. Uh, I didn't really talk about the experience too much. I just talked about the film, but hey, what can you do? I can't really remember the experience part anyway. Um, but no, everyone was, so, everyone out, walking out the theater, everyone's like, oh, that's such a cliffhanger, even though I know the answer, what Bella answers, her answer to whatever, to Edward, you know, but hey, whatever, it, I guess it doesn't seem really significant until Kristen and Edward, Rob actually say it, you know, so yeah, comment below on these scenes, I'm gonna go now, hope you enjoyed these vlogs, bye.